Hello, and welcome to my channel, Making Crafts. Today, I am going to be finishing up this folio envelope journal, and I have a few things to talk about first because I, I either forgot to hit play on the camera or either I've lost that video. I've been having a little trouble with my camera cutting off while I'm filming and then not realizing it. So, I want to show you what I've done so far. It's fairly simple stuff, so I think that you can look at it and see what I've done if you're following along and do something similar. So for the cover, I did add this little fabric flower that I had in my stash along with the doily. Then I have this little plate here. I forget what you call them, but I've added in the word blessed, and that is the, a word that I did on canvas. And I'll have to do a video showing you how I did those. I did those back in the fall. And then I've just added a piece of a doily here that I had, a little scrap piece that I had. And all of these little pieces, the doily pieces, the flower, that came from DC Scrap and Rooster. And then these came from Amazon, I think. And if I can remember, remember the name of them, I'll put that in the description below and link to them. And so I did sew in the signatures. So I sewed the signatures in first before I decorated the cover. And when I sewed them in, what I did was I added buttons at each hole. So I just did a three hole um, signature, sewing in the signatures. I'm not sure the correct term today. I've lost all my vocabulary. But I did that and I've just added the buttons. Now this is the first time doing that and I probably need to research it better because I was not that great at it. So what I had to do is when I stitched in my buttons, since it was um, four holes in it, I wanted to fill them in. So I stitched through, came through the book and then stitched into the buttons and then went to the next one. Well, when I got done, this one down here wanted to be pulled up further and I worked and worked with it, with it trying to just adjust it. Never could get it to work right. So what I did was just stitch through it again and went back through the stitching kind of backwards and went all the way back through it. And so you see two, and I guess that'll hold the book together even better because it's, it's gonna be stronger. But that way each button is at its hole. And so I probably need to figure that out better. So it's probably a good thing that I didn't show you that one because it was, it was pretty rough. At first I wanted to put buttons all the way down the spine, but then I didn't want to punch all those holes, so I didn't do it. So that's where I've gotten so far. So now let's go ahead and work on the journal itself. So before we continue decorating our journal, let's make another, let's make an envelope real quick. And this one's fairly simple, and this is just gonna be one we add to one of the pages. So what I want to do is I just want to fold in on the sides, and I like to fold, it's approximately a half of an inch. I'm just gonna fold that, and I'm just eyeballing a half inch. That may be a little crooked. I may need to fold just a little better. Doesn't have to be perfect though, so that's it's not gonna be a big deal. Let me get this and score it down, or press it down so it gets that crease in there. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm just gonna fold up around a half inch. Like I said, doesn't have to be perfect. Just fold that. And then I want to fold up. And I got this side, if that looks weird, ups, does that look upside down? It doesn't really look directional, so I think that's gonna be okay. So then I'm just going to fold it up like this. And I'm just kind of eyeballing how much envelope I want. Just making my own little envelope and how deep I want it to be. And then when I fold the flap over, I want to leave about a half an inch before I fold it over. That way, there's a little gap between the top and where you stuff things in. So let me do that real quick. Press that. And let's just press everything really good. So that's just going to be a quick envelope. And you'll see in a second. We have not finished with it. But this one, I need to fold this side just a little more. Because it's sticking out the there. We just press everything down. So we just, so once again, we just, I know I'm going a little fast with it, but I'm just folding in the sides. Then you fold up the bottom, leaving about a half inch here for your flap to come over. And so that way, when you tuck things in your pocket, it won't be right up against the flap. It'll be easier to tuck in. And then you just fold your flap over. Now, I'm trying to go with papers. I've made another one of these for this journal, and I'm trying to just use the papers that doesn't seem directional so that it doesn't seem strange. So once I have it like this and I have my envelope, I wanna fold it in half, and then we're gonna come back and do some trimming on it so it is a good envelope. But I'm just trying to get all my crease marks in 
so that when I, let me open this up, so that when I go to trim it, I can trim it all at once. You do want to open your flap up. I forgot to say that because it will get bent if you don't. So what we want to do is we need to get rid of several pieces. So we want to get rid of the rectangle that's here. So what I like to do is cut in to my middle one here. I don't want to cut the middle one out, but I just cut in a little bit of an angle. And then I'm going to trim right in this, where I folded, in the score line. So we have that one off. I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. This is just removing some of that bulk so it folds up nice and smooth. Okay. Now at the top here flap, we want to remove this rectangle and this rectangle at the top. And so we're just going to cut in on our middle rectangle where we did our fold and just trim. And then we're going to do the same thing again. And then we're just going to trim down to that point. We're going to take, and we have our envelope. Let's go ahead and let's glue it together. And then we'll do the next step. So we're just gonna fold this up. And I did glue a little too far, so let me get my paper towel. Just wipe that off. Shouldn't have glued all the way up to the top there, but that's okay. I just wiped it off. So now for the flap, we need to trim it up. So we're going to fold it in half in our book. So we want to trim right down the middle where we folded our envelope in half. And then we're going to cut a just a little wedge out of that. Doesn't have to be an exact measurement. Just cutting that wedge out. And reason being, we have to get that bulk out so that when we... When we add it to the page, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, stay open. It will fold good. And then for the side here, I'm just going to kind of match it so that it's kind of, just go up here to the edge. I'm just kind of matching the angle so that it looks like it's supposed to be that way. There we go we have another little envelope for our book. And it looks like I've got a little extra here sticking over, so I'm just gonna trim that extra off, Try not to cut my envelope back open. So yeah, you made the envelope, you can trim it up to be exactly how you want it to be. Now I am gonna ink it. And then I'll show you how we're gonna add it to the book. So I've gone ahead and made two of these because I'm gonna put one in the front of the journal and one in the back. So let's go ahead and add them to the, journals, to the journal now. So we don't want this journal to get too bulky, so I hope I haven't got too many things laid aside to add. So I'm thinking of adding it this way and then it opens up or having it so that my little bird, the peacock is on the outside and it opens up this way. And so I'm thinking I like the bird on the outside, so that's how I'm gonna do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to glue down two sides so it can kind of be like a belly band as well as a, you know, an envelope, a pocket in the journal. It can serve multiple purposes, and it's also got some spots on it that'd be good for journaling. So let me see if I can add that about to the center or so, maybe not quite the center. I like it there though. So let's just glue it down. So there we have it. And now, let me find a, appears a tag. So then it's a pocket, or you know, a belly band. And then we have pockets here, but you could also write in here and write in here. And you could write all around that bird. So there's plenty of writing spots. Just wanna press that down good though. And for this one, I forgot to fold it. Once I had it folded, I wanna just press everything really tight, smooth, so it doesn't cause a lot of bulk in my book. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go to the very back, the opposite page. I'm pretty sure I wanna do just the opposite and I'm going to add it right here. And we'll do the same thing, we'll have it fold open that way. 
or we could turn it this way and it could open. But if we do that, it's quite plain, isn't it? I'm still going to do that. Even though it's going to be plain, I'm going to do that because then I can add decoration or I can just leave this for writing, whichever I decide to do. And once again, I'm just going to glue down the side so it can be a belly band or tuck spot and it can be pockets and journaling spots. This is a really good journaling spot because there's a lot of space to journal on. Just give me enough glue there, it holds it down. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of center it up. And then we'll just, I'm gonna to try to put it close to the edge because I don't want it to get bound up in the journal here. I don't want it to add too much bulk to the center of our journal. So let's just press all those spots good. And there we have another pocket. So let's go back to the front and we'll just work like that, front and back, front and back, adding things. And so I have gotten several things laid out that I've already made up in the past or some of the pieces I've just recently cut out from this kit. So let's see what I have here. I like this one because it was bird themed, but I pulled out both because I wanted to decide which one I wanted to use because I'm kind of going with the bird theme with this kit. So I was thinking that may be a neat little pocket to put or it may be cute on this page. It'd have to go up like this. I'm trying to decide how that looks. I do kind of like that. And then leave this page for writing. Just keep looking and seeing though. There may be a better spot. I also took a piece of the paper from the kit and I cut it up and I made a little flap and I was just, and just didn't even measure, just made a flap, and I was thinking it might make a good pocket and then a little hidden writing spot. So I think I'm going to add that. I think it's had ink added to the outside, but not the inside. So I'm just going to ink around the edges of the inside, and I'm going to add it to this page. So I'm going to make it a pocket. So in order to make it a pocket, I'm just gonna glue across, down the sides, and then across the bottom, and down the other side. So that way it can be a pocket and a little hidden journaling spot. I think it's a little crooked, so I'm just gonna add it. Just move it a little bit so we can do that. And I like it beside these birds, so I think that looks good. So now at the back of this one, where these birds are, we may need to add something. I had this laid out with birds, but that's the wrong direction. It's gonna be, I think that's the wrong way. I have this, this card I could use as a pocket. I'll just have to trim it down. I made this probably over a year ago, some of these, but I thought that'd be cute there. I think that'd be good. So let's just turn it into a pocket. So I did these on index cards because they can be pockets or they can be journaling spots. And I probably made these, I don't know if I just made it with scraps laying around or one of the challenges. So there we have another pocket. I don't want to fill this up too much, but I have a lot of things laid aside that I wanted to add. So I have this that I made several, well, a week or two ago for my birthday, I got this Switch Big Shot. And so this is just a sample I was trying. And so I'm thinking that I want to add it to one of the pages, but I'm not sure which page I would add it to. Kind of as a flap to hide the page, and then you would lift it up to right underneath. So let's just take a look and see if there is a spot for it. 
How would it look on this page? Or maybe this one because of the greens over there. And you can lift it. That covers up a little butterfly or moth. I'm not sure which one that is. I'm thinking there. I like it there. So all I'm going to do is I'm just, I've already added a journaling spot to the back as well, but I'm just going to add glue to this little tab. And then I'm just going to add it to the top of the page. It's thicker cardstock, so I'm going to use my bone folder to press it down. And there we have a hidden little journaling spot. I like that. And we got to do something to the back here since we did something to the front. Because I want to keep it pretty even. The page was this one. Press the dots on it. Well, I'm having trouble finding the other side of that page. It's not that flower, is it? It's this one. There it is. So, let's see. What do we have we could add? That might be where we add. That might look good there just to add our pocket. And it still shows our bird. So, let's just add this one. I think I'm going to make it a pocket itself as well just in case somebody wants to hide something behind it. I think that would be a nice little spot. And this one I know was one of Roxy's weekly challenges last year sometime. Okay, so let's see, what else did I want to add? It's getting quite full and I don't want to get it too full like I said. So I've gone ahead and cut out some of the little decorations that was in the Gilded Tapestry set in the kit and I think I'm just going to add them. This page is white and plain and so I thought I might just decorate it up with some of these bits and pieces. Kind of just something different for the page to decorate the side of the page and then if they can, whoever gets the journal can write all around the edges around it. So let's just add that there. And I think I'm going to make these little pockets actually. And we can add something to them or we don't have to. But by making them a pocket, it gives us the option to add something to it or not. And this one's going to be a little side pocket, side tuck, instead of just a up and down pocket like the rest. Something different. Just adding different things to this page. So we could take and we could slide like a little, another little decoration in there. And let's see. These are little circles from the kit. I wonder if they would fit. Did I put this one on backwards? Oh, there it is. I was starting to question myself. So we could slide in there. And then there's little. I don't know if I have a little one small enough for this one. Maybe, maybe that one. Nope, it's not going to fit there. We'll have to find something else. We could just cut a little piece off here and do that. What if we just made a cute little folded up piece just like this and then you could write a secret little message in it still too big let's fold it over just a little bit more I'm gonna redo that okay so let's just cut it here and then we will fold it up small just 
fold it up and then fold it up again and fold it over and I think it'll fit in the pocket. That's just something cute to add in there. Maybe too thick. I'm going to make it look like a little envelope since this is a folio. What if it's a little miniature envelope? And we just cut the corners here and we fold it over and then it's down in there. There we go. So then on this side, and I know the light's washing it out, but you can see that the other page is actually stenciled, stenciled up pretty well. I think I'm going to take these butterflies. Let's see. Take a look. There's a lot of blue and brown in that, so I think what I'm going to do is I am going to add two pockets. Just got to decide, do I want to make them like, I think I'm going to make them staggered like that. And I want to add them to some book page. So I have some laying over here. I've got scraps from where I've been working on this journal for a while now. So I will add one to this and one to that one. And I thought the blues in these would really bring out the blue on this side of the page. So what I'm doing is leaving just a border, just a little border around this. And then we'll make the make it a pocket. Kind of adds a little bit more to it. And it kind of strengthens up the pocket as well. So I'll just add that there. I kind of slid it over too far, so let's bring it back over here. It was hanging off the page. We don't want it to do that, do we? Put that there. So then I'm just going to add it to this side of the page and make it a pocket. And I think we've about got this, this journal completed. All we'll need to do is go through and add tags and journaling cards and things like that to each pocket. So I'm thinking that's all I'm going to add to this one. I'm probably going to find something, maybe find something to tie around it. I don't know if I want to tie it shut or not. It's not too chunky. so. The only thing is I need to go back and fill this pocket and this pocket and I also need to fill the back too and then we need to figure out what we're going to put in the very back pocket or are we going to leave it blank leave it empty for someone to put whatever they want in it so that's what I got to figure out but I'm like how this one is turning out I think we're very close to being done I'm considering doing some collage for the journaling cards for in those spots so I'll have to see what I come up with. I hope you're enjoying the process videos as I create this envelope folio journal. And I will be back with one more video, more than likely for the journaling cards that's going in the envelopes. Hopefully I will film that. If not, I'll come back with a flip through so you can see the entire journal. Well, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.